Hello everyone, welcome to Math 150 College Algebra. Today we will do some example for section 1.2, linear equation and rational equation. Number one, find the value of the variable that satisfies the equation. Check your solution. Answer that all not integers may be left in fractional form or decimal form. The problem, 9x minus 6 equals 75. Okay. Remember, we need x equal. So, minus 6 move to the right side, become positive 6. So, 9x equal 75 plus 6. 9x equals 75 plus 6 is 81. I will go to find x. I see So that's why we have to divide by 9 on the left side. Of course, you have to divide 9 on the right side. Okay. So our goal is 1x is cancelled. So x equals 81 divided by 9. The answer is 9. Okay, so now we can go fill out the answer. The solution set is 9. Okay, now go to the next one, number 2. Solve and check the following linear equation. Five x minus three x minus seven equal twenty three. Okay, so now five x minus. So remember again about distributive property. So I can put one over there. So easy for you to see. So negative one times three x. The answer is negative three x. Negative times negative is positive. 1 times 7, 7. Okay, so an equal 23. Where is the combine? We are combining like term here. 5x and 3x, like term. So we can solve here. Yeah? So 5x minus 3x, the answer is 2x plus 7 equal 23. Move 7 to the right side, become minus 7. So, 2x equal 23 minus 7. So, 2x equal 23 minus 7. The answer is 16. Our goal is to find x, yeah? So, now our goal to find x. So, this is why we have to divide by 2 on the left side. You have to divide by 2 on the right side. So the answer is x equal 16 divided by 2, a. Okay, so I can type over here. So the solution set is 8. Okay, now go to the next one. Number Three. Solve three x over two minus x equal x over ten minus six over five. We get again denominator two, ten, and five. Yeah, so. We have to find the LCD. Yeah, find the LCD. Two going to ten, yes, it's five. Yeah, five going to ten, yes, it's two. So the LCD is ten. Okay, so I can write down the whole thing. Yeah, I can 
uh, time the whole thing by 10. So no fraction. I just write down 10 like this. 10 equal 10 again. So you can see. Yeah. So after that, I just copy 3x over 2. This is x. This is x over 10. This is 6 over 5. Now we can cancel each other, yeah? 10 divided by 2, the answer is 5. This one cancel each other, become 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I can write that. 5 times 3x minus 10 times x. 10x equals 1 times x minus 2 times 6. Okay? You stop now. 5 times 3. 15x minus 10x equal 1 times x, x minus 12. <coughs> now, like term, yeah, like term again. So now, <coughs> 15x minus 10x, the answer is 5x equal x minus 12. Okay, the variable with variable. Yeah, move x to the left side become minus x. Then sign, yeah. So 5x minus x equal negative 12. 5x minus 1x, the answer is 4x equal negative 12. So now our goal is to find x, yeah. So now I circle the x. So we can see we need x over there. So what do we have to do? Divide by 4 on the left side. Divide by 4 on the right side. So the answer is x equal negative 3. <coughs> okay. So I can type the answer. Okay. So now the answer is b. Yeah. So type the b. The answer is x equal negative 3, negative 3. <coughs> okay, now the next one, number 4. Okay, the following rational equation has denominators that contain variables. Okay, for this equation, A, Write the value of all values of the variable that makes a denominator zero. These are the restrictions on the variable. Okay. B, keeping the restriction in mind, solve the equation. Okay, I write down again the problem. One, I forget the ink, one over x minus three plus 4 equal 17 over x minus 3. Okay, we have to answer A first. Okay, what is our, the value or values of the variable that makes denominator 0? Okay, so now I have to write down. This is for A, yeah? So x minus 3 equal 0. Now the 1... <coughs> Same here, both sides is x minus 3. So we just need 1. Yeah, we don't need to do both, okay? Just need 1 is enough. So x minus 3 e equals 0. Move negative 3 to the right side, become plus 3. So the answer is x equal 3. <laughs> okay? So now, b now. So, solve the equation, select the correct choice below, and if necessary, fill in the answer box to complete your choice. Okay, we solve now, yeah? So, I just move a little bit going down. Okay. So, 1 over x minus 3 plus 4 equal 17 over x minus 3. Okay. 
So now look at the, uh, the denominator is x minus 3. So I time the whole thing by x minus 3. Okay, I just write down x minus 3 time, yeah, like this, and plus x minus 3, like this, yeah. So equal x minus 3. So now I copy. Just copy, yeah, 17 over x minus 3. Okay. What next? You can cancel, cancel, yeah? This is cancel, you can cancel, become 1, yeah? So this one cancel again, this one you can cancel, you can cancel, become 1, okay? So now, 1 times 1 is 1, yeah? Plus x times 4 is 4x minus 3 times 4 is negative 12 equal 1 times 17 is 17. <laughs> yeah? So now, you can solve now. So, like term, yeah? For x, negative 1 minus 12. The answer is minus 11 equal 17. So, we can move negative 11 to the right side, become positive 11, okay? So now, for x equal 17 plus 11. So for x equal 28. Our goal is to find x. You divide by 4, divide by 4. So the answer, x equal 7. Now x equals 7, so just go to the answer over here. Yeah? So we got to find the answer. So A, remember, A is, distraction is 3. Another one, the solution, which is, yeah, the answer is 7. Okay. Now, the next one, number 5. The same, yeah? The same problem. Yeah, just different, the different equation. But the question is the same. So we have to find A first. Okay? X plus 4, the LC, yeah? Look at on the denominator. Yeah? What is or the value or values of the variable that makes the denominator 0? So we can write down over here. Denominator is zero, like x plus four equals zero. Yeah, so the answer become x equal negative four. Now the one x minus four equals zero. The answer is x equal four. Okay, this one is negative four and four. Okay, now B solve the equation, select the correct choice below and if necessary fill in the answer box to complete your choice so i will write down again the problem okay so now look at the denominator so the lcd is yeah you have to find the lcd first yeah the lcd is this is b lcd x plus four times x minus 4. Okay? So you sum the whole thing by x plus 4 times x minus 4. Okay? I just write it again. x plus 4 times x minus 4. Like this. Yeah? Plus x plus 4 x minus 4. Okay? Equal x plus 4 x minus 4. Okay. So now we just copy the problem. Okay. 5 over x plus 4. And 1 is this is 4 over x minus 4. This one 32 over x plus 4 and x minus 4. <coughs> okay. <laughs> now. Get again, 
check, check, check. Oh, cross, cross, cross. Okay. So now, look at this is cross. This is cross. Become one. Right. So we can copy one times five. Become five times x minus four. Okay. This is x minus four. Cross, cross, cross. Become one. So the answer is plus one times four is four. Sub x plus four. Equal. This is cross. This is cross. Become one. Cross become cross become one. One time one is one. One time thirty two is thirty two. Okay. Now we solve now. Okay. So solve now. Five times x use distributive property again. Okay. Five times x is five x minus five times four. It's negative twenty. Plus four times x. 4x, 4 times 4, time 4 plus 16, equal 32. Like term, okay? Like term, yeah, 5x and 4x. The answer become 9x, okay? Negative 20 plus 16, the answer is minus 4, okay? Equal 32. Now move. Negative 4 to the right side become positive 4. Okay, so 9x equal 32 plus 4. So 9x equal 36. Our goal to find x to divide by 9 on the left side, divide by 9 on the right side. So the answer, x equal 4. Okay. Look at again. Restriction, yeah, x equal negative four and four. The solution, the the b section, yeah, is the x equal four. So what the answer for b? The answer for b is c. Because why? The solution set is empty set. Because the restriction is negative four and four. Our answer is four. So there's no answer because if we put four, we plug in, we check, we got undefined. Okay. So now <clears throat> this is for number five. Okay. <clears throat> Next, number six. <clears throat> Find all value of x satisfying the given condi conditions. Okay. Put the ink first. I don't want to forget the ink. Okay. Y1 equal 2 times 5x minus 5 minus 3. Y2 equal 4 times x minus 2 plus 7. You see, Y1 equal y2 okay let's write down again yeah so y1 is 2 times 5x minus 5 minus 3 equal y2 4 times x minus 2 plus 7 mm -hmm. so now distributive property yeah again same this one distributive property yeah so again, again, and again, okay? So 2 times 5 is 10x minus 2 times 5, 10 minus 3 equal 4 times x, 4x minus 8 plus 7. Like term, yeah? Like term, this is like term. Just write down, 10x Negative, negative 10 minus 3. The answer is negative 13. Equal 4x negative 8 plus 7. Negative 1. So now, again, move together. Yeah? Like term. Remember about like term again. X with X, number with number. So I move negative 4x to the left side, become negative 4x. Okay? I move negative, 11, negative 13 to the right side, become positive 13. Okay. After that, I just write down again. 
So 10x minus 4x equal negative 1 plus 13. Okay, 10x minus 4x, the answer is 6x equal negative 1 plus 13 is 12. Our goal to find x divided by 6 on the left side, divided by 6 on the right side. So now x equal 12 divided by 6 is 2. Okay, so now we can see now the answer for number six a yeah okay <clears throat> okay now go to the next one number seven find all values of x such that y equals zero okay y equal to parenthesis a bracket sorry x minus parenthesis four minus x minus three sub x plus one okay they said y equal zero just plug in change y with zero so zero equal to bracket x minus four minus x minus 3x plus 1. Yes, so now we solve. 0 equal to, remember, the distributive again, negative 1, I put over here, yeah? So become negative 4, negative term negative become positive, 1 times x is x. Okay, so now, again, same distributive property, negative 3 times x negative 3x, negative 3 times positive 1 is negative 3. Okay. <clears throat> so now 0 equal to bracket. Like term x plus x to x minus 4 minus 3x minus 3. So you can stop now, yeah? Zero equal distributive again. See? Again, again, and again, yeah? So two times two is 4x minus 8 minus 3x minus 3. So like term again, 4x minus 3x. Like term, yeah? So the answer is x. What next? Like term, negative 8 minus 3. That's right. The answer is minus 11. So now move negative 11 to the left side, become positive. So now go to the next one. Oh, I forgot to write down on the top. Yeah. So now I write down over here. Okay. Yeah. The answer is 11. This is number seven, yeah? Now, go to the next one, number eight. Solve the equation. Then, determine whether the equation is an identity, a conditional equation, or an inconsistent equation. 2x plus 14 equals 7 times x plus 2 minus 5x. Okay, stop now. 2x plus 14 equal distributive property. Yeah, 7x plus 14 minus 5x. Okay, so 2x plus 14 equal combining like term 7x with 5x That's right so now 7 minus 5 is 2 yeah so become 2x plus 14 
the statement is right or not. 2x plus 14 equal to x plus 14 is the same, yeah? Or we can, it's of course like this. Okay, sorry. For the, I make a mistake to cross. <laughs> 2x, to 2x, to like that, yeah? So now the answer is 14 equal 14. The statement is true. Okay, remember, if statement is true, so the answer is, look at the answer is B, the solution set is real number. Okay, choose B. Okay. So what type of equation is this? Because the solution is all real number. So for the the type of the equation, the answer is an identity. Okay. Next, number nine. Okay. Number nine. The same, yeah. The equation is the same, just different. The equation. Solve the equation. Then determine whether the equation is an identity, conditional equation, or and a consistent equation. Let's write down now. 3 times x plus 4 equals 7 plus 3x. Do the same thing, yeah? Distributive property. Okay? So now, the answer is 3x plus 12 equals 7 plus 3x. So now, cancel, cancel, yeah? So the answer is... 12 equals 7. 12 equals 7. Is right or not? It's false. Yeah? The statement is false. So that's why the answer for this one, you have to choose, yeah? Which one you choose? A, B, C? Which one? You have to choose C because the statement is false. Yeah? 12 equals 7 is false. So which one? The solution set is empty set. So the next one, what type of equation is this? So C, an inconsistent equation. Okay, now number 10. It's almost finished. <laughs> okay, so be patient. Okay, you're almost done. So number 10. Solve the equation, then determine whether the equation is an identity, a conditional equation, or an inconsistent equation. The same, yeah? So now, 4x plus 5 equal 2x plus 5. Okay? Do the same thing. Move 2x to the left side, become minus 2x. That's right. So move the constant to the right side, become minus 5. So I just copy again, write down 4x minus 2x equal 5 minus 5. 4 minus 2 is 2. x equal 0. I will go to find x to so divide by 2, divide by 2. Yeah? So now x equal 0 divided by 2 is 0. Okay? So now yeah. Can type the answer, the solution, yeah, single solution. So the answer over here is zero. So now what type of equation is this? So because we have answer one, at least one, so the answer is C, a conditional equation. Okay, we finish all the example for your assignment so you can, yeah, look at the video to have your homework. So if you don't still not understand, just let me know. You can send me email or you can just go to S Center, to Tutorial Center. They will help you. Okay. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.